Hello guys, this is Gordon Code and today we are going to look at the seventh lecture in the series of disjoint set data structure. In this lecture, we are going to solve a problem OWL file taken from code shed, uh, sorry, hacker earth. So let's see what is the problem. This is the problem description. You are given n and m, n is the number of owls and m is relationship among them. For example, the first relationship is 2 and 4 that is 2 and 4 are friends of each other and 2 and 1 so 2 and 1 are also friends of each other so if 2 and 4 are friends of each other and 2 and 1 are friends of each other then 1 and 4 are also friends of each other so this structure represents the relationship among 1 2 and 4 this as you can see forms a single set and hence each element in a set is is a friend of each other element in the same set so 1 is friend of 2 and 4, 4 is friend of 1 and 2. So, and at last 3 is friend of 5, so 3 is friend of 5. So there are 3 different friend groups, 1 in which 1, 2 and 4 exist, 2nd group in which 3 and 5 are there, and 3rd group in which there is 6. So now there is given Q and queries. So each query would con consist 2 elements. A and B so in this case 1 and 4 so 1 and 4 these are the owls who would fight but since 1 and 4 are friend of each other they would not fight and the result would be tie so you have to print tie but 3 and 4 so 3 and 4 these two belong to two different friend groups so they can fight with each other so uh, each element who have to each node will have to fight or the owl can send send another one to fight a fight on its its behalf from the same side for example three can send five to fight on his behalf so three sends five why five because the hitting power is actually the node number so since five is having higher hitting power than three so it is better if 3 sends 5 to fight on his behalf. In the set 4, in the set in which 4 belongs, the highest hitting power is 4. Among 1, 2 and 4, the highest hitting power is 4. So 4 will go to fight himself and 3 sends 5. So we all know that 5 would win. So the uh, 5 has been and 5 was fighting on behalf of 3. So the winner is 3. So basically you would be given two elements if they belong to the same set that you have to print tie because they would not fight otherwise uh, each element from their respective set sends the highest element to fight on their behalf whoever is having the highest value would win so this is the question let's see how we solve it so this is the parent array now one uh, at index one we are having minus four minus represents uh, represent that it is the parent and four what four represents here a, now in this case as we have seen in the first problem uh, that the magnitude or the absolute value represents the number of elements in this set but in this case since the number of elements have no concern to solve the problem there's nothing to do with how many elements uh, are in there in a particular set we are more interested to find out what is the maximum power ma maximum hitting power of a set since the first set uh, whose parent is one in this set the maximum hitting power is four that is why the absolute value uh, represents four at index one at parent index so since two points to one so at index 2 we have 1 since 4 points to 2 at index 4 we have 2 now since 3 points to 5 so at index 3 we have 5 now 5 points to itself which indicates that it is parent hence at index 5 we would have negative value to to indicate that it is parent and uh, the absolute value is representing 5 which is the highest hitting power in this set in this set highest hitting power is 5 so it is minus 5 minus indicating that the node 5 is parent and 
5 indicating that this is the high setting power now since 6 is parent so 6 is having negative value and higher setting power in this set is 6 so the magnitude is 6 so this is the way we would represent the information in the parent tab now the first input let's see the example so you guys can understand this problem or the solution more easily so the first input is 4 5 that is 4 is friend of 5 initially what you have to do is initially initialize all elements to be a singleton set and each each element points to itself that is each element is a parent hence all elements have to be negative and since one one the in this set highest setting power is one so at index one we would have one since high setting power of 2 is 2 so 2 here and then here 3 4 5 and 6 and so on you can understand this so each element is point to itself that is they are set they are complete set and a higher setting power also we have entered into the parent array this is the way you have to initialize the parent array now the first input comes 4 5 that is 4 and 5 are friends of each other so what would happen is that one of these two have to become the parent and another one would point to it so i am making four the parent now five would have to point to it after merging so parent of five is four now at index five instead of having minus five we would have four now before that what we would do is that since four is going to be the parent so it would have information of its set and now also of this set because these two are being merged and 4 have to represent both the sets now initially 4 represent highest value in his set and 5 represent highest value in his set at parent uh, in parent array so since 4 is going to be the parent now 4 have to update its parent value to be the minimum of these two parents why minimum since we are representing the values as negative so whatever is minimum actually the absolute value of that is going to be the maximum maximum that would become the hitting power so at index 4 in the parent array it would contain minimum of parent 4 and parent 5 since parent 4 and parent 5 the minimum is minus 5 so at index 4 we would have minus 5 and now 5 would point to 4 after merging so after merging what happens is 5 is pointing to 4 hence in the parent array at index 5 we are having 4 indicating the 5 5 is pointing to 4 and at index at index uh, uh, 4 we are having minus 5 minus indicating that 4 is parent and 5 that the maximum hitting power in this set is 5 now the next input comes as 1 2 so we have to merge 1 and 2 to merge 1 and 2 one of them have to be the parent and another one would point to it so uh, in this example uh, we are making one as parent hence two would point to one and now one would update its its parent value since now it is representing both the sets so at index one we are updating its value as minimum of parent one and parent two so at index one we would have minus two since since in this set the highest setting power is 2 hence uh, at index 1 we are having minus 2 and since 2 is pointing to 1 hence at index 2 we are having 1 now the next input comes in as 5 and 6 that is merge two sets in which uh, first set in which there is 5 and another set in which there is 6 so uh, since 5 belongs to a set whose parent is 4 and 6 belong to a set whose parent is 6 so we have to merge these two sets either of one of the elements one of the parents have to change its parent pointer either 4 or 6 since merging is done always in the two parents not in the nodes so in spite of the fact that uh, 5 and uh, we have to merge 5 and 6 since 5 is is an element of a set whose parent is 4 
so 4 have to be merged with the other set whose parent is 6 so 5 would not uh, 5 would not take a uh, participate 5 would not participate in the merging process instead of him its parent would participate in the merging process i have already told these things in the previous lectures so if you are not uh, able to understand just watch those so now 4 and 6 are there so we have to merge these two one of these two parent have to change its parent pointer so in this case i am making 4 as parent hence 6 have to update its parent pointer to point to 4 so that is why at parent 6 we are having 4 at parent 6 is equals to 4 and now since 4 is representing both the sets hence the value at parent 4 have to be updated so parent 4 is equals to minimum of parent 4 comma parent 6 since parent 6, uh, parent 6 contains the maximum element in his set parent 4 contains the maximum element in his set so if you take the minimum since the maximum value are represented are represented by negative signs so we are taking minimum which would give the minimum sign value and if you take its magnitude it would be become the highest value so at index 4 we would have the maximum value so what is the maximum value among these so now these have merged at index 4 we are having minus 6 indicating that 4 is a parent and uh, highest highest heading power in his set is 6 so this is the way how we are going to merge two sets so let's see the code so find in find we have to do nothing i have already discussed the code of of the find function in the previous video you can just check it out uh, so this is a recursive function if parent of a is less than zero which indicates that it is a parent why because uh, negative value are only there in the in the parents so parent pointer of a parent contains a negative value if node a is parent so since parent of a is less than zero that is negative hence a is parent so we are returning a so since uh, the work of find uh, function is to return the parent hence we have found that a is the parent so we are returning a this is the base case otherwise we are applying find function we are applying find function on the parent of a since since a is not the parent hence we have to apply the find function on the parent of a so we are applying find function of parent of a and this would return the actual parent we are saving it into x what we are here doing is uh, applying the path compression at at index one which were which was before pointing to some another element now we are making it to point to the actual parent directly instead of point to some another node so since x is the actual node we are updating the parent pointer of a to point to x and now we are returning x this whole code i have explained in the previous video so if you are not getting it just watch the previous one now to union uh, we have already seen this code while we were discussing the example so since we are making a as parent hence parent of a is equals to minimum of parent of a comma parent of b that is we are saving the minimum value uh, in a to find out who and what is the highest highest heading power in set a and now since a is becoming the parent hence b have to parent point to b that is why parent pointer of b is pointing to a so this is the union function so this way you can write the find and union functions and try to solve this problem so let's see how we are going to answer the queries initially uh, suppose the first query was 2 4 you can see that 2 and 4 belong to the same set hence the result would be a tie so how we are going to do that is just find the parent of 2 and 4 the parent of 2 is 1 and parent of 4 is 1 we can see that both have the same parent hence it indicates that both belong to the same set and hence the result is tie now then in the next next query we are asked to uh, we are given two hours that is two and three we are we are given that they have to fight so who is the winner of course three how 
apply find function of 3 and on 2 so the parent of 2 is 1 and parent of 3 is 5 you can see the parent of 2 is 1 the, the actual parent of this whole set so parent of 2 is 1 and parent of 3 that is this is 5 so we can see that parent of 2 is 1 and parent of 3 is 5 so we since the parent are at in the uh, in the parent array these nodes are having the value what is the maximum heading power in their set so one is having minus 4 indicating that in this set highest value is 4 highest heading power and at index 5 that is at index here the highest heading power is 5 you can see by its absolute value so who, whoever is smaller because of the negative sign whoever is this smaller is going to be the winner uh, since highest hitting power wins and since they are having the negative value that is why we have to check for the smallest value, smallest one so since parent of 5 is having the smallest value and since uh, uh, 5 uh, the parent 5 is parent of 3 and since 5 is having the highest hitting power that is why 3 would be the winner so this is where you can answer the queries so this is the code for answering the queries since in each query we are provided a and b we are finding parents of a and parents of b if they both have the same parent then you have to print tie otherwise just check if parent of a is having the least value then the result is a else result is g so i hope you guys have understood it and try to solve it try try to solve it yourself and if you are having any problem just comment it out in, in the comment sections and also after solving it you can also post your code to help others so thanks for watching and keep coding